Hey, how y'all doing? It's Brad's Graphite, and welcome back to this bed we made. Kind of had to redo this because the cat turned off my computer and corrupted about 13 minutes of content. I will leave notes in the vent next to your room, but which vent? Okay, I have already done this, but we're gonna pretend like I, I'm on the wrong way. Uh, well, that's great. <laughs> Can't open these without a screwdriver. <laughs> okay. Okay. No screwdriver. Wow. Shoot. No screwdriver. Hm. What's life without a little challenge? this change? I think I did. Unless I'm being a dumb dumb stinky poo poo brain. No I didn't. That's upside down. Eugene's probably working in Bernard's office right now. Right, it feels like there's a cold draft coming in. Fix it. Linda, highest priority. Oh, Eugene. I had no idea. Okay. Huh. Oh, this must be Eugene with his daughter. He looks like a caring father. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> How are you? Nothing suspicious. Ever. I am the least suspicious person <clears throat> on the face of the book. It's, uh, Miss Bellivet, isn't it? What? Oh, um, right. Oh, right. You're the one who took last week off, aren't you? You had to, uh, take care of your sister, I think? Mother. My mother. She's, um... She's very sick. Hmm. No, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. I need to know I can count on you. I understand, sir. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you on break? Okay, I'm... going to... The last time uh, the footage that got corrupted, I lied. But I wonder... I need a screwdriver. No, I'm just getting a screwdriver. A screwdriver? What for? Um, loose vent. Well, that sounds like a job for Eugene, doesn't it? Yes, you're right. Then leave the repairs to him. Okay, I will. <clears throat> I probably messed this up. Well, don't you look oh. mischievous. <laughs> hey, Bean. If you're planning to give Bernard a good scare, sign me up. No, I'm looking for a screwdriver. For the vent. Linda asked Eugene to fix Bernard's window. Oh, I see. Eugene? What the hell? You'd better go and take a look. I'll stand guard by the elevator and make some noise if I see Bernard coming. Okay, thanks. I'll be quick.
Okay. <sighs> Clean it up. Thank you. Aha. Let's get you to that vent. Opposing something that could help so many people just because it's close to your hotel? This is ridiculous. I think you're again. Ba ba ba. I don't want the sec word by me. Handwritten by Eugene. Enjoy the cold. Ba. So, I take it the open window was not an accident. Can't say I blame you, Eugene. Can I close the window, though? With this blizzard, Bernard's office will be a skating rink by the end of the day. Maybe that'll leave. Surely your rink is over by now. No, it's not. I came by here not too long ago, and Andrew was already covering for you. That's because I was in the ladies' room. That's no excuse to- It's my time of the month. I, uh, I... You're married, aren't you? So you know how it is. I have to go more often, and oh, sometimes I stain the furniture, and, and don't get me started on all the- That's enough details. I... Miss Bellavit, what were you doing in my office? Let's try this. Someone left the door ajar. I wasn't... I was... I was simply closing the door. Someone left it ajar. Huh. Oh, must have been Eugene. Well, don't you have work to do? Yes, sir. Then get to it. Uh, Mr. Drake has asked to see you. Again? God, he just can't get enough of me, can he? Just indulge him. Apologize one more time for Friday's mishap. Do whatever needs to be done. We cannot afford to lose such loyal guests. Okay, fine. Hmm. That was a close one. Yeah, I had a few cold sweats, but at least I found what I was looking for. Good. Well, if you need me, I'll be attending to the whims and worries of our entitled client guests don't be a stranger why do they have a thing about saying guests instead of clients time to see what secrets that vent is holding da, 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 da. boink There might be elevator music, but I turned the music off. Okay. Ooh, lag. My frame rate's dropped for no reason. Oh, I guess I'm free to disturb room 508 now. But that's where Bernard and Linda were. Ew. No secrets. And this, we are back to the part where the cat decided. Ah, oh, okay. Da, da, da. Interaction. I'd have to do it in a certain order. Oh. That makes sense. Ugh, oh, more codes. Oh, I have the thing. I forgot about that. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. That's... Um... Three... Is E. So that's probably meat. Yeah. Okay, five is O. That's probably room. That's probably my. Dash is N tonight. A 
if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Michael? Will be... Sleeping. Need. Discuss. Our plan. Tonight in my room, Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Ugh. Spies. That's my running theory. Clarington Hotel reception desk. Beth speaking. It's me. Oh, hello, Bean. Anything new to report? Found another secret message. I found another message written in secret code. What does it say? Meet me tonight in my room. Michael will be sleeping. We need to discuss our plan. Michael? Who's that? Another husband? I don't know. It's the first time I'm hearing of a Michael in this story. Hmm. Let me check the log. There's a Michael staying in room 507. Mrs. Beaumont's room? But she doesn't have a husband. She's here alone with... Oh, Michael must be her son. I got him some extra blankets the other day so he could build a fort. Hmm. Could Marcella... Yes? Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> so, what's next? I guess I should go have a look at 507, but it's not on my list. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Well, I could call the room to make sure no one's there. Good idea. Hang on. Why am I staring at the paneling? You've got the all clear, Bean. Head on over. Thanks, Beth. I'll call you was there back. some sort of sound? I feel like there was. It's hard to tell because the neighbors are revving their engines. I don't know why. Oh, that's 508. So 507 is on the right over here. I'm gonna get whacked. Just absolutely stop rubbing your engines. Anyway, good. Nobody looking here. Well, he's all but outright threatening you. I just oh, met with your old. I hope you can stay as far away from him as possible. Are you done now? That pause was like way too long. Anyway, I just met with your lawyer. You've got some balls to accuse me of all that. As if you were so irrepro irreproachable yourself. Do you think, do you think I don't know where you spend your nights? The worst of all is that, okay. Ah, ah, custody battles. Great. Not throwing that away because I don't want to deal with it. What's this? Looks like someone grew tired of looking at your face, Mr. Beaumont. Ah. What's this a little... Oh. Wrecking up the courage to throw away your, your flesh or wedding rings. Oh. Doop doop. Oh, nail clippers. Uh... Oh, whoops, whoops, no. Uh. There it is. 
Uh, oh no. Okay, well I can at least open this top one. Hello? Mr. Cruz, huh? Have a drink together. That's nice. Hello? Gloves. Open. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Okay. Um, hello. A nun. Mount Royal College, Montreal, 1947. You almost look like Marcella. Wait. Okay. Surreal. Duh, 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 duh. Uh. Okay, whatever. Let's get to the bottom of this and find out what links these rooms together. It works. Locked. The key has to be around here somewhere. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Great. You know the drill, Sophie. But sweet. I don't need your so hand. So husband can sense. abuse his wife and just get away with it. And people like Linda still think divorce is wrong. Ugh. I met with Louis, and he asked me to give you the enclosed letter. I think you should reiterate that some of your accusations as to wife abuse are not grounds for divorce in Quebec. I understand you are hurt, but I do not think antagonizing your husband is very wise at the moment. Do not forget to be in court at 11 a.m. on the 20th. Be on time. Also a friendly reminder that my fees for January need to be paid before the end of this month. Great. Okay. Funny how some games really stand the test of time. I used to play this with mom all the time. Uh, okay, we got. It. Oh. So you were eager to set up a meeting, but didn't want anyone noticing. Hmm. All right. I hope you're all well in spite of all the circumstances. We've been on the train for two days now. It's a long ride, made even longer by the fact I cannot wait to see you again. Uh, okay. Oh. Um. Did Marcella send this? Best friends. Okay. Another letter. Oh, Michael. Adults can be so confusing. Uh, translate. I promise it's not you. Anyway, I'm sorry about Mom asked me not to tell you the name of our hotel. She allowed me to talk about our room, though. We have two little beds, a radio, and even a television. Mom let me build a fort, and then they brought us extra blankets. She's really nice. The hotel is nice, too, but I miss home. I wish Mom and you could be happy now. Okay. Sad child, Michael. A toy car! Okay, battery out. Battery chamber when not in use. Oh. Okay. Uh, some curlers. Color pencils. Grammar. Okay. Maybe it says homework. Aha. Uh -huh. No. 
Bianca. Keys are Snoop's best friend. Sounds like this is from your school days, but the name of the sender is smudged. 1945. Dear Anne, you're right. I miss the snow already. It's so hot now in Texas. It's quite a shock after the cool weather of Montreal. <coughs> My family has never seen snow before, and I could not find the words to tell them how beautiful it is. They don't understand what they are missing. I wish I could build a better snowman like the one we built together a few weeks ago. I know it's childish, but I had not had that much fun in years. Christmas was exhausting, nine days of eating, singing, dancing. It's great fun, but I'm glad it's over so I can rest a little. Of course, celebrations re will resume for New Year. <gasps> okay. Well, I know one of the keys. I don't know if I picked up both of them or not. What is this? Oh. Why did we start to gay books? So much gay. I already read that. Eh. Okay, I'm... Uh, I'll need another key to unlock this. Haven't I seen one just like this somewhere? Did I? Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Thanks. So I didn't do much, but I'm glad it meant something to you. Thanks so much for taking care of our room every day and bringing us extra sheets. Michael and I wanted to give you a little something before we left. Ah. Those few coins in my tip jar were getting pretty lonely. They'll that look in your eyes. What does it mean? And who is this from? You don't need to know my name, but you've seen me. I recognize that look in your eyes when you checked in. You and I don't need to make a fuss about this. Keep your wits about you, blah. Ah. This letter has been sent to you and has been around the world three times. The one who breaks the chain will have bad luck. Oh. Okay, well, I don't care. That key looks so familiar. Why do I associate it with room... Well, thank you for telling me because I completely forgot. Uh... Five oh five, five oh five, five oh five. There. Ah, oh, um, maybe. Play your hips. I'm gonna have to get in a fight at one point. Like, I... That's not it. I don't know why I picked that up. Um... Whoops. Where is that other key? Is that a comb or a key? That's a comb. A shoe thingy, I think. I don't remember seeing it in here, but apparently I did. Um, that's a thumbtack. A bubble. If I throw it away, I don't think I could have. I don't think I could have picked it up even. It actually might be in the bathroom. I don't remember seeing it. Uh, why do I keep doing it? Um, 
I don't know why you associate it with 505 because it's not in here. Um, 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 Can I interact with that man over there? I can't. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Think, Sophie. Where have you seen a key like that one before? In a safe? Is it in there? I just checked. But where? Ah, huh, there you are. With Marcella. God knows where she is. Oh, okay. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. Hey, Beth. Bean, I've been meaning to speak with you. Oh, about what? Well, a little birdie told me Mr. Morgan and Mr. Cruz had an argument yesterday evening. Really? Who's your little birdie? Jacques. Apparently it got so heated he had to get involved. And listen to this. It sounds like I was on the right track, because he heard a particular word thrown around quite a lot. Wanna guess what it is? Uh, fair. A fair? Bingo. Hmm. Did Jack hear anything else? From what he told me, it seemed like Mr. Cruz was accusing Mr. Morgan of having an affair with his wife. Wouldn't have expected Mrs. Cruz to fall for a man like Morgan, but I guess the heart wants what the heart wants. Maybe, but that doesn't explain Mrs. Beaumont's involvement with Mrs. Cruz. What do you mean? I found a chest in room 507. I think it can only be opened by turning two keys at once. I found one of them in Mrs. Beaumont's things. Oh, and the other one? Well, I remembered seeing a similar key in one of Mr. Morgan's stocking pictures, so I went back to check. Mrs. Cruz wears it as a pendant. It looks identical to Mrs. Beaumont's key. Wait, so... Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz own identical keys that are both needed to open a mysterious chest. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. <laughs> Just good friends. <laughs> I think Mrs. Cruz and Mrs. Beaumont might be the ones having the affair. That's an interesting theory. Did you find any clues that might support this? Nothing concrete. I mean... I did find a letter that suggests they may have gone to college together, but they could just as well be good friends, right? <laughs> yeah, that's one way to put it. I guess we'd know for sure if we could have a look at that chest, but I don't think I'll be able to open it. I've looked around room 509. I would have seen the second key if it was there. Mrs. Cruz must have left with it this morning. Hmm, yeah. We were so close. I can't believe it all ends here. Well, hold on. I may have an idea. Get me a candle and some plaster, and maybe I can do something about that pesky chest. How? I'll tell you later. Just find me those things, and I'll meet you in the basement as soon as I manage to leave my post. All right. Thank you for not giving up. Come on, you know I wouldn't let you down. Well, that is part three. And I will deal with a chest in the next episode so i guess i'll see you guys later